know that string that I got, man, it's long, so I gotta. Got the bow right there. The string I got is real long, so I gotta. Think about cutting it, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. That string a little too long. Like one of them's still alive. Fish off of here, man. We're gonna get the scale them in the water. Today was definitely uh, a good day, I can say. Uh, versus some of the other saltwater days I did, man. I decided to go out there toward uh, Anawak. And we actually caught some right at the limit and a few few inches above the, the keeping size. Now we got the fish in the bowl right here. We got the crap and we got the spoon. What we're gonna do is turn the opposite way, hold it like this and just flake the uh, scales into the bowl. And we just reuse that. Try to keep it full of water. Like this, run some hot water on it. Cold water, whatever you prefer. And we're just gonna flake them and scale them like this, man. So, Sometimes people use forks, sometimes, you know, you use whatever you want to use, man. So just scale them like this. Keep on doing it like that. Scales come off real easy. And you get a fish that's scaled perfect. So let's get the scale. And if you miss some scales, it's okay, man. It's okay. I done seen people fry fish with scales on them. They'll pop right on off. It ain't no big deal. Uh, having scales on or having them off, it really don't matter. Uh, you know, I know people that even fry them with the heads on and all that. You know, man, it's, it's up to you, man. However you was raised on doing your fish, that's how you do it, my guy. That's how you do it. So we almost done with one. We're gonna go on to the next. All right, y'all. We got all the fish scaled up right now, man. Now the next step for me uh, is to actually de-vein, de-head them, and get all those uh, put away. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna, uh, you know, we got them scaled already. We're gonna get them, uh, the heads chopped off of them. So it's the fish. Try to do this real quick, y'all. So we're gonna get these de headed. Personally, man, I like to, uh, whenever I cut these down, man, let's go ahead and get this like this. So anytime I'm de-veining or de-heading these fish, man, I always like to get one, have them like that, get my knife, and we'll cut it straight down past the little gill right here. Just cut it right there behind the wing, straight across, like this. So you can do it however you want to do it. I always cut from the top. Do it like this right here. Break that bone, that spine bone, that good white meat in there. Just break it like that. And then cut around like this right here. Try not to cut the guts, man. Because if you uh, do it the right way, you should be able to actually peel those right on out. Uh, do it like that and go from right here on the back side of this little hole go ahead and cut in there with a little split all the guts should be able to just slide right on out man um, we're gonna put these we got an actual bowl I got a bowl right here that we'll put all the heads and stuff in so we're not uh, destroying anything 
Add a little water to this bowl. We're gonna put these out somewhere. Let the raccoons get them. So once you do that, man, you should be able to pull all the fish eggs out, all that stuff. Or you can stick stick your finger in there, man, and do it how mama taught me back in the day, man. Uh, when it comes to getting all that stuff out. Dip it in the water. Clean it out like that right there, man. Boom. Simple. Now you got a clean fish right there. Everything clean on the inside. And that's how we do the crappie, man. We really just cut the head off. Let's get this right here. Same thing right behind that wing. Right behind that fin. Just come straight down that bone. Like that. Come from this little hole right here. Cut it up. Keep on cutting after that. Come around. I don't want to put too much blood on there. Like that, so. And all the guts should come out simple, easy. Stick your finger in there. And you should be able to pull those fish eggs out. Just like that. Might need a little rinse and a little water, but we'll do that later on. That's a good, another fish fillet, man. So once I get all these cut up, we'll put them in the grease. Yeah, we get the pull the grease in, man. Gotta make sure this thing get the smoking. That's my little fry, man. I've been having this fry for a long time. Um, the fry never failed me, man. It's always treating me good. Love me. We got all that pulled in, man. Make sure the level good on it. It's gonna hold the fish. So we're gonna put a few. We got a few fillets over here. So, some of the main seasons I use whenever it comes to seasoning these fish, man, is uh, real basic, man. I do a little garlic on them. This little garlic right here. Do a little garlic powder. I put a little of this on there. Accent. That's good. <laughs> and y'all already know, man, the home favorite, man. This is what I use right here. Whenever it comes to seasoning my fish, I like to get it seasoned up all around over the whole thing on the plate like that right there flip them around flip them over do the same thing on this side now I like to put more Tony's than any of the other seasoning put a little Tony's on that put a little garlic A lot of people be like, damn, that's too much seasoning. I'm gonna show y'all once I finish. Never too much seasoning. You can put too much salt. Can't put too much all this other stuff, man. Put a little accent on there. This right here is the one you don't want to put too much of. The accent definitely. You be like, what the hell is that taste? You know what I mean? Flipping this around. Now that we got that, the fish all seasoned up. Y'all can see what they look like. They all seasoned up, good to go. We're gonna grab the bag and dump the fish fry in there. Now another secret you can do once you dump the fish fry or once you use the fish fry, you using that, and I always put a little, a little Tony's inside. Real secret, this right here, man, make it crispy, not gonna lie to y'all. You gonna see once we finish, that's gonna make it crispy. Get that around in there. In that bag, all right now, we good to put the, let's test the grease. Grease ain't ready yet. That's good, we don't wanna burn the grease. Now, man, from, from off the cutting board, man, we just put every filet inside the bag and um, give it a little wish around. Make sure all the seasoning don't come off of them. And I'll pull them back out the bag just to show y'all what they look like once they get seasoned up. And uh, let y'all take a look at 
how them babies come out once I fry them up, man. Cause when you come to these white perch, man, they real good. You can really eat the bones and everything. I ain't gonna lie. I know people that actually eat the bones on these things. And uh, actually, my mom was one of them. My grandma was one of them. They eat the tails. It's one of the fish that you can do that on, man. So we get all those in. Get the grease and stuff all around. Cornmeal. Fish powder. Perfect. And the last one. Get that one in there. Put a little that on it. You want to get real creative, man. A real crispy fish. What you can do is take it back out the batter and drop it back on all this season right here. Put it on this season again. Boom. So it's wet like that and drop it back in the batter. That's if you want a real thick crust. So we'll try that on one of these just to see how it turn out. If you want a real thick crispy fish, man, that's what you do, man. You get that's gonna be this one. Hey, I gotta remember which one this one is, but that one real seasoned up, baby. That's how we like it, man. Now, what we're doing is just waiting on this grease to get hot. We're going to clean off this little stove. Hey, man, right now we at a point uh, in the cooking of fish. Y'all saw what season we use. Y'all saw what fish fry I use whenever I cook, um, whenever I fry the fish. Right now we at the point. We got the fish in the bag, all the season and everything cleaned up. Uh, we got the bag right here full of the crappie. Yeah, we just at a point right now to where we finna, uh, hey, 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 man, y'all know what time it is, man. Y'all know exactly what time it is. We got the fish fryer right here. We're going to test this out. I don't hear nothing going on right now, so we're just going to make sure. Oh, that's why we didn't have, uh, we didn't have our fish fry up to temp, so it got to temp and it shut off, so. Now we definitely gotta wait a little longer, but that ain't no big deal, man. Um, let me show y'all what actual fish. Um, we got the fries, fish heads. Uh, where did my fries go? So, bro, we got the fries right here. We got the bread. Everything gonna be delicioso. We got the fries right here, man. Uh, so I can't wait to eat these too. Let's see how these fries taste. These from Walmart. Y'all saw what I paid for everything. We're gonna get that all cooked up too, man. We're just waiting on the tip to get up. And we're gonna get to fry these fish up, man. Like I said, it's the first catch and really the first catch and cook. I got the other one, uh, which was the one from the Red Snapper trip. I got the video that just haven't posted them. But man, we actually caught some fish today. I came home, I showed y'all how I cleaned them. Showed y'all the three seasons that I use. I actually got another one that I use for uh, the red snapper whenever I'm baking. That's a whole different recipe. But next time, if we go salt water and we catch some reds or we catch some catfish in the fresh water, I definitely get into it to where I actually show y'all what I use as far as the vegetables and all that. It's a whole different step. When you fry fish, man, it's real simple. You ain't really got to do too much, man, because most of the time people uh, put season inside of the actual batter. And uh, that's what that's where the flavor comes from. But man, the real most important thing is this grease is already uh, sizzling, so we're gonna drop our first fish in there, man. And I'm gonna show y'all uh, exactly how we cook, man. I've been having this fish fry for a little minute. Let's get right to it, baby. Yeah, we're gonna drop this first one in there, man. The grease is actually ready and it's ready to go, so. We'll grab the first fish. We'll test the grease. Grease is actually rolling right now. And we'll put our first, which is the thick fillet. We'll drop that on in there, man. We'll probably put two in there. One on this side, and then we'll put a big one on this side. Fry like that. Then we'll since we got six, we probably do it like. And put this one this way. And then we'll put the other one. Just gotta make sure they all down though, so we can get them all fried up with the same layer of grease. So let's go ahead and drop these in. Let's go ahead and drop these in. Fish is good. Let's 
Drop them in. Now we're gonna let these cook for a little time, man. We're gonna let that grease get that stuff all crispy. And once everything get done and crispy, then you know what we gotta drop in. We're gonna drop the actual. Uh, I hit my button. I turned it off. My bad, y'all. Once everything get done and crispy, we're gonna drop the uh, fries in there. So we're gonna let this cook for probably about 10 minutes, 10, 12 minutes. Once that's finished, then we'll probably flip it or just take it out. No, we really ain't gonna have to flip it. Just let it cook for that time. Uh... Alright, boys, we uh. Got the fish already fried up over here, man. They real crispy. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and drop some of these fries that we got inside the. Drop some of these fries inside the grease. Looks like the kids are asleep right now. They ate some something different earlier. I got home. And we're gonna try these. Uh, these, these some good fries right here. I know my son's gonna want some. He up in the planting game right now, so we'll uh, get them fried up and then we'll fry the rest of them uh, here in a bit. But man, that fish looking good. Definitely looking good. I just tried to pick this other one up, man. The whole fish broke in half, so we know it's tender. Uh, white perch always break easily uh, when you fry them. So we just gonna you know, see what it tastes like once we finish. Hey man, y'all know I don't like to do a lot of talking, man. The fish is finally done, it's finally cooked. This is what the uh, final results is. Let me get a little zoom down real quick so y'all can see what we got going on, man. This right here is the actual, get some light for y'all. This is the actual fish plate, man. It's the finished product. We got the fries, we got the crispy uh, crappie, man. I'm gonna dig in there and show y'all exactly what, uh, man. Y'all miss it, man. If y'all don't eat crappie, this is what I grew up on out in Louisiana. This is probably one of my mom's favorite fish. R.I.P. Rest in peace, her soul. This is probably one of her favorite fish to eat, man. I'm trying to get this light set up, but it's not working for me. Guess not. Come on, now get right. I like you feel no. So this is her, this is one of her favorite uh, dishes, man. Uh, I don't really, you know, do the tartar sauce or any of that. I almost dropped it. We're gonna put some ketchup in there, man, with these fries. Got some more fries on for casing. You know, we like those. Let's go ahead and get a little squirt of ketchup right here on the side. And get that cleaned up, man. Let's go ahead and turn in. Let's grab a fork real quick. Go ahead and turn this this fish, man. See what we got, man. It's real crispy. Let's go ahead and turn it, man. One thing I like about that crappie, man, is the meat is so tender right away. As y'all can see, man, the white meat is definitely steaming white meat right there. Just watch out for the bones. That's real good. Along with some of the uh, the ketchup, man. You can you can actually eat the skin to be honest with you, man. That's what get some of that skin on there man and uh that's it right there boys um real quick y'all know uh i really don't be doing the kitchen cooks like talking about but i definitely need to start doing them more often man um, let's see definitely gotta start doing them more often see what this tastes like man see what these Hell yeah. Not gonna lie, y'all. This fish bring back memories. Good fries. True, you gotta try these fish, my dude. Hell yeah. Good white meat, crispy. One thing I remember when we was coming up, man, was this 
Let me break it off real quick. I gotta do it for the video for sure, for sure. For the fishtail man, as y'all can see, Mr. Fishtail. Mama used to eat these like crazy, man, so we definitely gotta. Still tastes good. Good seasoning. Bring back memories, y'all. Definitely do. Definitely bring back memories. Gotta be careful though, man. Yeah, the guy. <laughs> I got a bone stuck in my throat. Hey right, boys, that's it. All this turned out to be good. Everything turned out to be good. If y'all like the video, man, make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe. We're gonna definitely do more of these, man. Look at that bone I was telling y'all about. It's that bone you don't want to choke on right there. So be careful if y'all do decide to cook some crappie, man, y'all. Watching out for them bones because they'll creep up on you and be, <laughs> be stuck in your throat and you choking, you know what I mean? So y'all just be careful when they come to eating these fish, man. Uh, man, make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe. And we're finna get the fish eating this. Uh, I got another one on right now. Get at the casing. Man. It's crazy how that season's... Uh, Sticking to that meat like that. Let me get some of that. Here we are, boy. Peace out.